Hello, everybody. Welcome to another great episode of Distilled, Brewed, and Reviewed. My name is John, and we are in my world-famous Sydney Den. And down here is where I do most of my reviews, which are everything that has, has anything to do with alcohol. That's what I review. And everything that has anything to do with coffee. It's an amazing feat. <clears throat> and I'm the only one in the world that can do it. I have all this stuff broken down into categories and subcategories on the playlists for YouTube. If you hit the playlist on my channel, you'll see it all, the magic that I did. And I challenge you to do that. Uh, every single video I do, the first comment's pinned because it always has a link to the playlist that pertains to what I'm doing. And today will be bourbon, so I'll have the bourbon playlist. Uh, and all I ask for, for all this magic, is a little support. However you can do it. All right. Um, barrel bourbon. Cash strength. Um, seven years old. 60.92 alcohol by volume. 121.8 for proof. It is a single barrel store pick from Total Wine and more. There it is. And it was lent to this channel by a VIP, Mitchell Kilgore. Yeah, baby. What is this barrel? Well, it was started by a man named Joe Beatrice. He did a few things in his life and then at some point discovered whiskey out of a barrel. Actually, not that long ago, uh, 2013. So he's a rookie at it, really. Um, and he fell in love with it. And instead of building a distillery, he decided to source whiskey from well-established um, distilleries, blend them together. Be transparent about it and sell, sell them. Um, and uh, what else to say? Uh, the, 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 uh, you know what? That's it. And they get it from all over. You look at some of the back of their whiskeys, Poland, Scotland, Ireland, Kentucky, Indiana, Tennessee. They got all these blends. They do a great job. And they their sister uh, whiskey that they're also part of this company is Stella. So they do a stellar job, in my opinion. Um, so let's try this store batch. And what's the back say? What is this blend? It just says distilled in Kentucky. Okay. The, they are located in Louisville, Kentucky. My hometown. So here's the color in the barrel, or bottle, I'm sorry. And here's the color in the glass. Thank you, Mitchell. Let's give her a sniff. They do such a good job blending. They really do. I got a few of their bottles back there. I've done a lot of the Stellum as well. Certainly smell that barrel influence. Caramel on this one. Sweet wood, caramel. A little bit of cola. So uh, let's give an acclimation sip. This is a hot one, right? It's a big poop. And then we'll go in for a taste. Let's let that do its magic. Let's let, let that... Acclamation sip. Do its thing. Oh, all right. Well, now, now let's go in for a little bit of a taste. Give it another smell. You know, you got to kiss it at cola, kiss it at bubblegum, believe it or not. Barrel influence. Caramel. Raisin. Let's give it a taste. Hmm. See now flavor, no burn. Because of that acclimation sip. And that caramel is more now. That was on the nose. It's a brown, sweet brown sugar. Uh, barrel influence, absolutely. Dark fruits, believe it or not. No cola. 
no bubble gum on the nose, not so much on the flavor. It gets washed out by the barrel, by the brown sugar, and by the dark fruit. Gonna put a little water in this big boy. See what we can do, see what flavors we can pull out with some water. All right. Brought out the barrel infants a little more and a little more and some vanilla. And you know what? It's brought out some cinnamon now. So water has really opened this up. All right, let's see what it's done to the flavor. To the nose, it's brought out a few things. Hmm. More of a honey. Went from smelling like caramel, tasting like brown sugar, and now the honey, more of a honey. Get some cinnamon, reduce the woodiness a little bit, the influence of the barrel as far as the wood goes, and gave me some cinnamon. Some honey, some cinnamon. Uh, barrels influences there, not as much. Mm. I really like the cinnamon that's come out. Mm. Yeah, mm. all right. So, another fine um, barrel. I haven't had one yet. I didn't enjoy. So, they got some unique things, some unique blends. So, if you see them at the store, um, give them a shot. They're all, um, you know, high proof, high octane. They go a long way. Put a little water in there. Uh, a nice big piece of ice. And just let that develop over some time. And I think you will enjoy it. And let me know what you think of, of uh, Barrel. All right, everybody. Don't forget to sub, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, Mitchell.